have a project to build an intelligent robotic wheelchair. One of the really important parts of this robotic wheelchair uh, is to be able to move quickly, smoothly, and safely through an environment uh, which may include dynamic obstacles such as pedestrians. The wheelchair is physically capable of traveling at up to two and a half meters per second, which is faster than a brisk walk. We want to test that at these high speeds to make sure that it'll be safe even at extreme operating conditions. This work has been done by my graduate student and now postdoc, Jong Jin Park. I've been working on this problem of motion planning for mobile robots for the past few years. A lot of existing um, safe algorithms uh, relied on slow moving robots so it's almost delegating the responsibility of avoiding the robot to people. One thing our algorithm does is it replans really fast so it's replanning at the current setting five times a second. We can make it up to uh, 10 or 20 times per second. The wheelchair can now run at uh, its full speed which is 2.5 meters per second. It can glide along an empty corridor really fast and safely and it knows how to slow down at corners. Uh, it knows uh, to slow down when there's an oncoming pedestrian. It can avoid people standing in the middle of hallway. It knows how to slow down when there's a person um, walking in front. It's figuring out what the current situation is and it computes the probability of collision, the cost of action, the current progress it's making toward uh, getting to its goal. And it's optimizing everything in real time what we are showing, I think, is that robot can still move very fast. We can push the hardware to its limit, and um, the robot can still navigate safely in this dynamic environment. So I think this is an exciting time for robotics. Now we can really push the hardware to its limit, uh, and we are able to operate in these uncontrolled environments. And I think we are going to see more exciting things happening around us, real robots in real environments, um, in a couple of years, I think.